hello everyone so today we are going to work on uh, enemy vocals so here if i make a sound contact So yeah, that's what we are going to work on today. Uh, so you may have noticed that enemies do not say the same thing or like say the their lines or vocals every time because I have given some randomness and some delays because when there are many enemies in the level, it can get messy very easily. So that's why. So let me run a demo again. Let me see if I can do a whistle sound. I don't think they hear it. Let's throw it in it. So yeah, that's we are. That's what we are going to work on today. And uh, as uh, you know, you can download the project files of this project and all other projects in my channel. I'd like to remind you that before we get started with the tutorial. So to the date, there are thousands of tutorials that I have covered in the channel. So you can download the project files for each of them. Link would be in the description below. And let's get back to the tutorial. So I filtered out this alert sound, contact sound, death sound, enemy spotted sound, fire sounds, pain, shout, sigh. So these sounds, these are from this uh, human vocalizations asset. This is a free asset from this game master audio. Thank you very much for this. It's in permanent collection, Unreal Engine sponsored content. content. So it's free for everyone. And I have created this audio and vocals folder in my project. So let me import all of these. <gasps> <Contact! sighs> Fire! So it's a nice sounds. So now I want to play this on enemies. So first, so let me open character blueprints and for enemies I did implement uh, talk not here a function called talk yeah it's here ALS NPC this one so here event talk i implemented this through the clm bpi npc interface and i use this in multiple places for example let me show you so here this is uh store on c so on c i call this talk function with dead body with dead body bark type and there is this with jam machinery bug type so in here there should be something like a shock sound 
a shock uh, vocal the enemy should be saying so we have already set up that because we have already added this overhead text let me i think i have it appears see found it overhead of the character so i since i didn't have any vocals back then i just added that text so all i have to do now is based on this bark type i get i need to play the sound so now i'll add a function um, and here we need the input bar type the reason we call this bar is because that's the name used for the things those enemies say okay now all i have to do is place sound at location so get actor or uh, maybe to be precise oh playing on the actor location should be fine what i was thinking about is playing on the head location but i don't think that would matter much so here we need to select the sound we need to play based on the bark type so now when the bark type is none we don't have to play anything so maybe to prevent any errors i'll check if this is valid okay and then minor noise so this should be something like uh, something like this so where is the audio focus <gasps> something like this would work so i need to play one of these alert sounds randomly so i'll create a queue alert Okay, and alert 1, I'll drag and drop the alert 2 as well, and random, play randomly one of the sounds. Uh, do we have an attenuation? I'll use this, uh, let me check this, how far does this go? 400 to 600 no this is not enough small range uh, okay. so I'll 4000 to 6000 we can change this of course if it is too much so I'll use that so if you don't know what attenuation means that means how far this sound will be heard in the game world and the way it dissipates that's what we defined in the attenuation okay so i'll put this alert queue in the minor noise and for nothing found we need this sigh <sighs> <sighs> so this so let me duplicate this alert queue i'll call it uh sci queue open it let me close this and
okay what next searching let me assign sci q here all right so in the same way i'll create uh queue sound cues for all these different states okay so i have assigned sound cues for all of these so for example for searching this is move out move out and major noise go 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 and when they see a dead body yeah. ha! and sigh <sighs> like disappointed nothing found after searching something like that okay so all of them are here now let's play let's get spotted Wait, I didn't hear anything. Ah, oh, sorry. I forgot to call this play sound in here. Yeah. Play, not play sound. D. Play walker. Yeah, sorry. And get the park type. Okay. Let me make a sound. Go go go! Fire! Go go go! 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 Ah, go, go. Go. Oh, that's go go go! go. That's too go, much. Go go go! That's not good. So we should give some, introduce some randomness. So how can we do it? Hold on. I think uh, it would be better, yeah, if I turn this into an event. So let me remove this. I press term event. Let me walk and paste. The reason I did that is so that we can add some cold down time. Something like this. Here, do it once. And then after playing the sound, I'll add the delay. A random delay let's say random floating range between 3 to 8 seconds and reset Now, we should oh, here. I forgot to add this. Part type. Right. Now, let's see. If I make a sound. I think I got a headshot. Go, go, go! Okay. Um, 
so let's add some randomness to that means not always it should let's add a delay first uh, randomness should be introduced here let's have a branch and a random board but this will only reduce it 50 percent which may not work based on the number of enemies in the scene but we will revisit that so here let's add a delay um random delay a random float in range minimum i'll set zero maximum i'll choose based on uh, this bar type let me do a select float based on the bar type for something like uh, the reason to do that is if it is something like a major noise there is a high chance that it would be heard by many enemies at once because it's a high well i we have a test and see actually dead body maybe not that much so on c also not so much this uh i'll keep so one as the default value and nothing found that also something that not should not happen at once searching maybe so three okay let's see go 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 go, go, go. oh that's better <laughs> He's not repeatedly saying fire. That's fine. Oh, so mover. That means then they are starting to search. So I think that's better. Go, go, go. actually felt good so i think I could, i'm gonna stop this episode here so uh still i need to add uh sounds for things like uh, when i shoot an enemy or like pain sounds get hit sounds and dying sounds things like that i need to add and i will look into that uh, in the next episode because the reason that i'm not looking into that is because that's not uh implemented through this uh box enemy box so that's a separate function so that's why i want to uh i will not add them here all right and feel free to let me know if you encounter many more bugs or anything when you test out the system i uh, will work on the fixes and improvements in future episodes so thanks for watching Updated project files will be available for you to download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.